All right, fellas, this is what you're going to do. Your wife's around the house doing her thing. You're going to play this video really loud in the background, or at least with an earshot. You're welcome. I love cologne. I have quite a bit. You know you have too much when you've lost count. I have a lot. And technically I love anything that smells good. So I love a house that smells good, an office, a room, a bathroom, a car. Father's Day is coming up and cologne is like a safe gift to get a guy. Cologne and socks, you can't go wrong with those, with those two. Summer's also coming up. So what I've done, I have put together 10 of my current favorite fragrances. And I say current, because if I do a video like this next year, it's going to be totally different. But I put together a list here, and I'm, I'm not going to go from 1 to 10 or 10 to 1. I'm going to break this down into categories. So I got casual, I got workplace, office, and I got, I guess you can call it intimate date night type, right? So let's start with the first one. The first category, casual, you know, situations you'll find yourself in this summer, uh, going out with friends, going to get ice cream, going to the beach, going to a bonfire, going to brunch. It's going to be a lot of cookouts this, this summer. This is the first one in that category. It's called Hawass. Some people pronounce this Hawass. I don't see a V in this. I see a W, so it's Hawass. Uh, it's Arabic, it translates to brave, courageous. And what you get with this, man, <laughs> what you get with this is fresh, it's fruity. Uh, I pick up apple notes with this, bergamot, lemon, uh, orange blossom, plum. This is, <laughs> this is for the guy who is like, have you seen that dude or you know that guy who Anywhere he goes, he knows everybody, and everybody knows him, and everyone likes him, and he's just going around cracking jokes with everybody. That's this guy. So first on the list is Hawass, and this probably is the cheapest of this, this, this list. You might see this for about 40 to 50 bucks out there, and if you're on TikTok, you've definitely seen this before because it's everywhere on TikTok. Next on the list, Dolce & Cabana Light Blue. This brunch, definitely. Still casual, but maybe you wanna dress up a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. Dolce & Gabbana light blue. You get hit right off the bat with citrus with this. It's very aromatic. The list of notes on this says wood. I don't pick up wood with this, but man, this is good. This is really good. Um, a lot of fragrance lovers talk very highly of this, and I am too. Can't go wrong with this. Dolce & Cabana Light Blue. The next on the list is another Middle Eastern uh, fragrance, and I don't see much reviews of this online, and I don't understand why, because this smells really, really good. Uh, a pastor at my church actually put me onto this, like, yo, Ian, you gotta try this. This is Bahara Viking Rio. Very unique in its presentation with the Viking helmet as the cap. And it got this little spinning thing here like the G unit chain. This smells so good. It opens up with jasmine, sandalwood, but baby, the dry down. Yo, the vanilla that you get in the dry down. Listen, man, Bahara, Viking, Rio, just get it. Just, 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 just get it. Just get it. Um, you get a good four to five hours with this, so it's not too long uh, lasting, but baby, that four hours that you have this on, All right, this next one on the list, 
off my current list right here. This is the one that I feel can pretty much jump through the multiverses. So it could be casual, it could be work, it could be date night. It works in all categories, but I have it in the casual category and that is Burberry Touch. Burberry Touch. Love this fragrance. Um, you get wood with this, you get tonka bean, um, you get vetiver, which is in the grass family. Um, so a very outdoorsy smell, very clean, very fresh, very masculine too. Very, very masculine. And unlike the last one, this one is long lasting. This will pretty much last you all day. And as you can see from the ones I just showed you and this one, I be using them. So I'm not just talking, I use these things. This next one. Come here. Yeah. I watch a lot of fragrance videos on YouTube. I don't understand why this one isn't consistently in people's top 10. Like, what's going on? Am I missing something here? But they just don't know about it. This next one, there's never been a time that I've worn this and not received a compliment. This is Montal's Chocolate Greedy. And as the name suggests, very chocolatey. Never thought chocolate would smell this good, and I get it, aphrodisiac, cool, but this thing smells good. I will admit though, the opening, it's a little bit too harsh for me. I'd be sneezing. It's like I spray and sneeze, spray and sneeze. It's gonna happen. Cause that cocoa is gonna hit you. It's gonna hit you right away. But the magic is in the dry down. It dries down to a very powdery. Oh man, listen, anytime I wear this, the compliments I get are I smell something sweet. I smell cake. I smell candy. Montal's chocolate gritty. Man, I am giving y'all my secret sauce. <laughs> All right, we're halfway through. We're done with the casual category. Now we're gonna go into the workplace and leading the charge is this guy right here. This is Mancera Cedrat Boise. This is one of the poor man's creed aventus. And I say one of because there's a couple of fragrances out there that have a similar DNA to creed aventus without the hefty price tag. It's not like I have beef with creed. It's, you know what? I'm just gonna do a video about it and just let you guys see. But this one is definitely workplace friendly. You get black currant with this, you get patchouli, you get, uh, I think you get tonka bean with this. Um, you definitely get jasmine with this. And that's where the similarity with Creed Aventus comes in. The, the mixture of the jasmine, the black currant, and the, the patchouli. Missing the pineapple, because Creed Aventus is known for its pineapple scent. So I, I wore this to work one day and the CEO of my job was around me and he picked it up and he was like, you got on Creed? And I'm like, nah, it's, it's, it's not Creed. It's Mancera Cidre Boise. Very inoffensive fragrance. And pretty much if you're gonna go to work, if you're gonna go to an office space, you don't wanna wear something that's just too overpowering. So yeah, Mancera Cidre Boise. Now, when I do these lists, I try my best to include at least one black owned fragrance because we out here, you know what I'm saying? We out here competing with the Gucci's and the Versace's and the Chanel's and we are neck and neck with them, if not surpassing them, just that they don't have the marketing dollars behind them like those big brands do. And this one, this one. This is one of my favorite workplace for fragrances. This is Sean Crenshaw's Ovation for Men. Man, this is so good. What you get with this? You get 
tobacco, vanilla. <sighs> Man, this is, this is so good. This, bro, this is good. Um, I believe he's based out of Atlanta. And this is one of my favorite go-to workplace for fragrances. So definitely check him out. Sean Crenshaw, Ovation for Men. This next one is one that I feel is going to lead the charge to me. Start getting fragrances that have an iris-based note in it. I just love iris and the way iris smells. It's just amazing. <sighs> this one right here is Prada Lum. Prada Lum. So you get a very clean, very fresh, powdery. Man, this thing smells so, so, so good. Um, there's a gentleman out there by the name of um, Bowtie, the fragrance guy on YouTube. He, he made a list of like workplace friendly fragrances and he included this in it. I couldn't agree more. This is one of my favorites. And as you can see, I've been using it. I've been using it. So um, very powdery. You get sandalwood in this, you get black pepper. Man, you can't go wrong with this one. Prada Lum. It's good. This next one um, is probably the most expensive in this entire list. And by the way, I didn't buy any of this retail. Uh, always discounted. This is, um, this is good. This is good. If you want to look good, smell good, smell like money, then you want to get this guy right here. Bond number nine, Wall Street. And of course, I would get a fragrance called Wall Street. Man, this is so good. You get um, cucumber with this, you get vetiver with this, and ambergris. Never heard of it. Would you like to know what ambergris is? I will tell you. Ambergris. Ambergris, an opaque, ash-colored secretion of the sperm whale intestine, usually found floating on the ocean shore, used in perfumery. So there you have it, ambergris. Um, I deliberately put this last on the work category because with it being last, it's on the precipice of the next category, on the very edge of it, because this is one of those fragrances that can easily translate from work to date night. Like, yo, I just got to work. I'm coming to get you. Be ready in 15. What? Where are we going? You're asking too many questions. I'm coming to get you. You'll see. This guy right here. My man. Bond number nine, Wall Street. All right, so we've gone through nine. Only have one in the date night category. So, fellas, you're going on a date with your wife this, this summer, or maybe your anniversary falls in, in, in the summer. Single, you know, she finally gave you a chance. That girl finally gave you a chance. You're going on a date. Uh, I feel like I, sh I should say this with an accent. This is Chanel Allure um, Edition Blanc. This opens with a very strong citrus note. Very, very strong. It's really, really good too. Um, the Chanel website says it has Haitian vetiver and vanilla from Madagascar. Now, I find these things interesting when people are very specific about these things, like vanilla from Madagascar. Would I be able to tell the difference if it's vanilla from Botswana? And I see this in the menswear space as well. Italian leather, Mexican leather. And I'm like, are the cows in Italy, in, in Naples, are they different? Like, okay, I guess. But yeah, date night uh, fragrance. Fellas, if you put this on, let me just tell you right now, your wife's gonna be all up in your business. All up in your business. She might just cut the date short. 
whatever y'all do after that is y'all business. Y'all married. If you're single, be very careful with this one. Want to go on a date in a very public place? <laughs> Not going to guarantee a second date with this. It might. It might. Um, at the very least, it's going to be a memorable experience. Like, hey, he made me pay for my own food, but he smelled good, though. All right, I'm done. Just gave you my favorite 10 fragrances for the summer. Uh, if you have a favorite fragrance out there, uh, maybe a signature fragrance, let me know down in the comments. I'm always interested in trying new stuff. So, yeah, that's it, man. I'm done. Peace.